Even after the Tropicana is demolished, the owner, the Bally's Corporation, will still retain the gaming license temporarily for this property. That's the decision from the Clark County Commissioners, who unanimously granted them an extension Tuesday. But how long will this extension last? For two years, and then there's a couple of extension periods in there as well. Dennis Gutwald is a Nevada gaming attorney with more than 20 years of experience in the gaming industry. He says gaming licenses expire 30 days after gaming stops at a property. But this extension gives Bally's the ability to keep their license for up to three years from the date the Tropicana closed on April 2nd. Once they're ready to start gaming, um, that license will become active again. But that's a lengthy process involving more than just gaming. There's going to be a lot of permits, building permits, health permits, sign offs. So what happens if Bally's can't complete the construction of the new resort in the next three years? They could operate gaming for one day to stop the clock from ticking. Gutwald says it could be as simple as opening a trailer containing one to 16 slot machines for the entire day on that property, and that could qualify them for another extension. Something the Moulin Rouge did in the 2010s and Station Casinos in 2013. As for the new resort expected to be built next to the Athletics Ballpark, Bally's chairman Sue Kim said on a podcast, it's still in the planning stages. The reason why there's uh, has been a little bit of a, you know, sort of a, a delay in terms of what are we going to do. Right. So we're just trying to get it right. But demolition crews are at work for a possible implosion in October. But Tropicana General Manager Eric Knowles says they don't have the exact date yet. Um, they're working through those details and, and what that will look like, dates and that sort of thing. Don't have that to share yet, but that will come soon. No matter when the implosion happens, the county says Bally's must have the demo completed and the law cleared ready for construction of the new athletics ballpark by April 1st, 2025. Reporting from in front of the Tropicana Hotel and Casino, I'm Ryan Ketchum.